The Flipped Classroom. It's unlikely that you've taken or taught a class like the Hacking 4 course before. One of the primary distinctions between Hacking 4 and more traditional courses is the H4 Flipped Classroom model. A flipped classroom reverses traditional structure so that students prepare for class and gain knowledge ahead of time by completing assigned readings, watching lectures, and engaging in other activities, then actively apply the concepts they've learned during class each week. The flipped classroom structure enables students to learn by doing and solidifies a deeper understanding of key concepts through active learning, real-world application, and increased interaction that's enabled by educator-facilitated discussions. So, what does this look like in a typical Hacking 4 week? Hacking 4 courses teach students to practically apply skills while working on real-world problems by 1 teaching the Lean Launchpad framework outside of the classroom in the form of online lectures, podcasts, articles, blogs, and videos. Two, applying the Lean Launchpad framework to sourced and vetted mission-oriented problems. And three, presenting the application of the Lean Launchpad framework to their problem in a classroom setting. Ahead of each class, the teaching team should provide a 20 to 25 minute long lesson on the components of the Mission Model Campus, either through a lesson they've developed or via the Steve Blank recorded online lectures provided by the Hacking 4 program team. Throughout the week, student teams will conduct beneficiary discovery interviews to test their hypotheses about the problem these beneficiaries are experiencing. Students start by making various hypotheses around their problem, capturing them in their mission model canvas, and iteratively testing these hypotheses with potential beneficiaries through interviews or minimum viable products. This process allows student teams to continually gain knowledge around the nature of the problem and explore potential solution pathways. They constantly iterate in order to validate, invalidate, or partially validate their assumptions. During class, students brief their findings from the week, focusing on four key steps. One, what they thought. What hypothesis was being tested? Two, what they did. How was it tested? Through interviews or through MVPs? Three, what they found. What was learned? Was the hypothesis validated, invalidated, or partially validated? Four, what happens next in the coming week? Classroom instruction then takes the form of feedback from the teaching team and peers in an open conversation in front of the class. Teaching teams should rigorously challenge students' understanding of their problem and the mission model canvas, pushing students to clarify presentations and explore how they decided on and tested their hypotheses. This provides student teams with course corrections related to their understanding of the Lean Launchpad framework or to the application of their problem specifically. After student teams have presented and teaching teams have provided feedback, teaching teams may introduce the next core concept to the class. These brief lectures provide context for the materials student teams will expand upon throughout the coming week through their course materials and discovery interviews. Then, the cycle begins again. Pre-class learning, real-world application of the framework, presentations and effective feedback, and the introduction of the next topic. <laughs>